again, welcome to Library Yoga. My name is Chelsea, for those of you who are just joining, and I am a librarian here at Brock and a yoga instructor. Today we're going to take a quick study break to really loosen up some tension in the lower back and the hips. These areas often carry a lot of tightness, a lot of tension, a lot of stress when we're sitting for long periods of time. So we're going to start out seated um, either on the floor or on a chair, depending on where you are, what you have around you, whatever's most comfortable. And if you're seated in a chair like me, we'll start by sitting towards the edge of our seat. We'll sit up nice and tall, taking the shoulders back, reaching up through the crown of the head, and we'll gently either close our eyes or just gently lower our gaze to the floor to check in with ourselves before we get going. Taking a moment to really consciously observe how your body is feeling. Noticing if there are any areas of tension or tightness. If there are any small little adjustments you can make to your seated posture so you're a little more comfortable. And then from your body, bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing how your breath feels if it's slow, if it's a little rushed, where you feel it the most, maybe in your belly, maybe your chest, maybe even just in and out through your nostrils. And then from your breath, take a moment to observe how your mind is moving. Notice if your thoughts are racing around, you're wondering what that's even supposed to mean. Maybe there isn't all that much going on and that's all okay. Just observe where your thoughts are running off to. And then we'll bring the attention back, back to the breath. Consciously starting to deepen our inhales down into our belly. And we'll exhale with a sigh. Two more like that, really deep breath in. Breathe down into your belly. Maybe feel your lungs expand, your chest expanding, filling all the way up to the top. And then sigh it out. One more deep breath in, down into the belly. Feel that breath rise up in the chest, all the way up to the top, the deepest breath you've taken all day. And then we'll let it go with a sigh. On your next inhale, we'll roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And as we exhale, we'll roll the shoulders down and start to flutter the eyes open if we had them closed before. Wonderful. We'll keep this rolling motion with the shoulders to start. So we'll try to inhale as we take the shoulders up and exhale as we take the shoulders down. Nice, gentle movements. We'll be working with a number of circular movements today. We'll switch directions, inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down, warming up those shoulders. And the next time they come down, we'll pause down at the bottom. We'll extend our arms out to the sides now, reach them out nice and long so you're getting that stretch across the tops of your arms. We'll gently drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. You'll feel a big stretch on the left side of your neck, maybe across the top of your arm. Gently drop your chin down to center. Feel that stretch in the back of your neck. And rock your left ear over towards your left shoulder. We'll move back to the other side, down through center. Right ear to right shoulder. And one more time both ways. We'll take the chin down to center to the left, back to center, and to the right. We'll bring the head back up here, and now we'll start to make some circles with the arms. So we can start with little circles going backwards. Maybe the circles start to get a little bigger. Maybe be wary if you have shelves or other things around you that you don't hit them, but we're waking up those muscles in the arms, the shoulders, stretching them out, engaging them, 
generating a little bit of energy here. And then at our biggest, we'll switch directions, taking them forwards in great big circles. And the circles gradually start to get a little smaller and a little smaller. And as they get smaller, maybe we can speed them up here for three, two, one. And then we'll just gently drop the arms. We can roll out the shoulders a little bit here. It's a fair bit of arm work. But throughout the class today, we're going to be not only stretching out the body, we're going to generate a little energy. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of an opportunity to refresh ourselves in the middle of our day. From here, with our hands on our thighs, we're going to inhale, start to lift the chest up towards the ceiling, take the shoulders back, maybe take the chin a little bit up as you look up towards the ceiling, and exhale, round back. Tucking your chin towards your chest, sliding your hands forwards. Inhale, we peel everything up, open. And exhale, we round it back. This is a nice seated version of cat-cow. Inhale, we open it up. And exhale, round it back. One more time for each. We inhale, open it up. And notice if you feel a little bit of a tweak in your lower back here, ease off if that's the case. Maybe engage your core a little bit more to support you. And exhale, round it back, tucking the chin towards the chest. From here, we'll slowly roll our way up. And now we'll extend our legs in front of us. And you can do this seated on the floor as well if you're down on the floor. We're going to create a nice loose diamond shape with our feet and our legs. So we'll extend our legs out in front of us. The soles of the feet come towards each other, or maybe just the toes come towards each other. The knees are a little wider than the hips. Be careful if you're on a rolly chair like me so it doesn't sort of roll out from under you. We'll start by sitting up nice and tall, and exhale, we're gently going to fold forwards. So again, you can do this in a seated position on the floor. It's a very loose kind of butterfly shape. We're just going to round forwards here. Resting your hands on your legs, on the floor. Getting a little bit of a stretch through the back body, relaxing the head, the neck, the shoulders. And also introducing a very gentle stretch in the hips. We'll take a nice deep breath in here. Feel the breath expand into your back body. And exhale, feel your back ribs sink down. One more time like this, breathe and feel your lungs expanding into your back, breathe into any areas of a special tension or tightness. And exhale, feel it all sink down and slowly roll your way all the way back up. Awesome. From here, if you're seated on the floor, I'll ask maybe you make your way up towards a chair or I'll offer some standing variations for you. But what we're going to do now is move through a seated version of some warrior related poses. So taking our knees a little wider than our hips here, if you're seated in a chair, we're going to wiggle that left foot out to the side so we can extend that leg nice and long. And we've got our right knee bent the foot right underneath the knee. As soon as we start extending that left leg out to the side, trying to bring the sole of that foot down towards the ground, our legs are in a warrior posture. If you prefer to be standing, you can make your way on up. Step out nice and wide with your feet. We'll spin the right toes to point out, and the left toes can be pointing straight in front of you. Bending that right knee, you can make your way towards warrior two. But if you're seated in a chair, we're keeping the same shape with our legs here. We're going to inhale, reach our arms out to the sides, and exhale, take the gaze over the right fingertips as you stretch your arms nice and long. So again, you'll be feeling that stretch across your arms that we introduced before, and you'll also be opening up through your hips, through your legs, as you're supported by your chair. Breathe here. Try to breathe into the areas that are offering some tension and tightness today. We'll take a nice deep breath in, really filling up the lungs. We're going to fill up through the belly, fill up through the chest, feel your ribs expanding in all directions, and exhale it with a sigh. We'll take one more deep breath in here. 
And then exhaling, we're gonna bring our right forearm to the top of our right leg, reaching that left arm up and over to come into a seated version of side angle pose. If you're standing and you're in warrior two, you'll just gently be bringing your forearm to your thigh and reaching that left arm overhead. This does provide a deeper stretch through the hip flexor, but the option is totally yours. This is meant to be something you can do in your workspace. So if you're seated in a chair, you can just bring that forearm down, reaching nice and long with the left fingertips, trying to get one long straight line from your left fingers all the way down towards your left toes. We'll take a nice deep breath in here. Again, filling up all of your lungs, your belly, your chest, your back. Exhale with a sigh. We'll come on up. We'll re-bend that left knee so we're sitting with our knees a little wider than hip distance. And bringing the hands onto the knees, we're gonna dip the right shoulder down to center, getting a little bit of a twist. Take a deep breath. Exhale, we release. And then we switch, we bring that left shoulder down, maybe taking the gaze back towards your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And we'll release and we'll switch to the other side. So we have that left knee bent. We're just extending that right leg nice and long out to the side. And this works best if you're seated at the very edge of your chair. Again, you're welcome to practice this, practice this standing as well. With an inhale, we'll reach our arms out nice and wide. We're getting that nice stretch through the arms, generating some of that energy. We can feel it flowing. Easing over the left fingertips, feeling strong, feeling that stretch down through the right hip flexor as well. We'll take a nice deep breath in, fill your lungs, your breath channeling down into your belly, up towards your chest, feeling your ribs expand. Exhale with a sigh. One more time. I need everything in. Um, I, um, I went to art school for my own. And we'll bring that elbow on an exhale down to the left knee, bringing that right arm up and over. Breathe here, nice and smooth, deep down into the belly, feeling everything stretch, everything expand, one long line from your right hand all the way down to your right toes. Continue to breathe. We'll take one more deep breath in. Let it go with a sigh. We'll come on up. We'll re-bend that right knee. And one more time, we're gonna dip the right shoulder down, the center, getting a nice little twist. Come back up, we'll dip the left shoulder down. A nice little twist. We'll make our way back towards seated. And now bringing the feet and the knees about hip distance apart, we're gonna make our way up to standing. So with your feet just underneath your knees, you're welcome to come up however you would like. My challenge to you is without using your hands, reach your arms forwards and start by just hovering yourself up out of your chair. This is chair pose. And the Sanskrit version of this is Utkatasana, which is often translated as fierce pose. And for those of you who've practiced with me before, I like to think that it's called fierce pose because you feel really fierce when you hold it for quite some time. So you can feel the energy, the heat building in your legs here. You're really starting to wake up. We'll take a deep breath in here, exhale it out. And then on your next inhale, we come all the way up and we can move that chair off to the side. All right, now that we're standing, we're gonna start by just bringing the hands to the hips and we're gonna circle the hips around a little bit here, standing, sort of opening things up in a bit of a different direction, circling one way, and then we'll switch, circling back. And it can be quite nice when you've been sitting for a while to actually get up and stand for a little bit. I recommend taking little breaks every hour to do something like this. 
And when we're done circling, we'll come back to center. We'll find a nice stable standing posture like our mountain pose here. So our feet are rooted underneath our hips. Our shoulders are back. Our fingers are reaching down towards the floor. The chest is lifted and the gaze is level. So the chin is parallel with the floor. We're not looking up or down. You want to feel your energy rising up through your feet all the way up to the top of your head. We'll take a nice deep breath in. We're going to circle the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, circle the arms around and down as we start to fold. You can bend your knees as much as you like to here. And we're just going to start to pedal out the knees a little bit. So you're straightening one knee a little while you bend the other. And then as we bend the left knee and straighten the right knee a little bit, and this can be just a little bit, any amount that feels good to you, we'll peel open that right arm, getting a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a deeper stretch through the legs there. Take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, we'll switch. So we'll straighten that left leg a little bit, reaching that left arm up to the sky. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, we come back to center, and this time we're just going to ragdoll forward. So you can be soft through your knees, soft through your upper body. Hold on to opposite elbows, and just let your body hang forwards, letting gravity do the work. Maybe softly move a little from one side to the other. Maybe back at center, you shake your head a little yes, and a little no. Just introducing some softness into the back body while we also stretch out our legs. Often tight legs, tight hamstrings, tight hips can translate into lower back pain. And we're really trying to soften and let go in all of these areas. We'll take one more deep breath in. Feel your back expand, and then on your exhale, we'll slowly roll our way all the way back up to standing, taking the shoulders back. Wonderful. Now, when I'm taking a break in the middle of the day, often I need a bit of a refresher, and I find balancing poses are a wonderful way to really refresh my energy and my focus so I can continue on for the rest of the day really capable of doing everything I need to do. So we're going to come into tree pose. We'll start with our nice stable posture, our feet rooted underneath our hips, and then we're gradually going to shift our weight into our left foot, taking the right foot either to the left ankle, the calf, or the thigh, if you're able, if your clothes allow it today. The only place we don't want our foot is on the knee because it'll press the knee sideways and knees aren't really meant to bend that way. Wherever you are, think about opening up your hip and lengthening your thigh down and away from you. From here, bring your attention to some spot in front of you that's not moving. It'll help you with your balance. And bring your hands to center. If it would feel good, you can inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and open up the branches of your tree feeling nice, light, and buoyant through the upper body and very strong and stable through that standing leg, feeling that nice stretch through your right hip. And now if your balance is sort of all over the place today, it happens. Balance changes a lot from day to day. And often when you have a lot of stuff going on, if your mind is all over the place, that will take its toll on your balance too. So this can be a good opportunity to check in and sort of see where you're at today as well. Wherever you are, if your arms are extended, we'll take the hands down. And then gently, instead of dropping that right foot right away, we're gonna pick that knee up and forwards, extend that leg out in front of you. This is super, super challenging. If it's too hard, you can keep your knee bent. We'll hold for three, two, one, and then gently we'll drop that foot down, shake out the knees a little bit, and we'll move on to the other side. We'll start by standing nice and tall, rooting down through the feet, shifting the weight to the right foot. We take the left foot to the ankle, the calf, maybe the thigh, extending that hip 
open the thigh down and away, bringing the hands to center. Maybe with an inhale, we reach the arms up. And we breathe for a few moments here, finding our focus, noticing how our balance is today. We'll take one more inhale. And then on the exhale, we'll bring our hands back down to center and we'll gently take that knee forwards in front of us, maybe extending that leg out, holding for three, two, one. And we lower it down, shake out the legs. You'll notice we feel a little warmer. We feel a little more energy down to our legs. This is our goal. From here, we can go ahead and grab our chairs if we have them handy, or we can make our way down to the floor. My final little challenge here is if we have a chair, can we do our chair pose hover above the seat just for a few moments, sinking your weight down into your heels, your knees right on top of your ankles. We hold for three, two, one, and we lower ourselves onto our seat. Awesome. From here, we have one more stretch to kind of loosen up the hip joints a little more, relieve some tension in the lower back. We're gonna cross the right ankle across the left thigh, flexing that right foot and sitting up nice and tall. You might already be feeling a stretch through your glutes, through your hips, but if you'd like a little bit more and there's no need to push here, just whatever feels comfortable to you, you can gently lean your chest forwards here. So we're trying not to round the spine. We really wanna lead with the chest, keeping the spine as long as we can, not rounding. You'll feel that stretch intensify through your hip, through your glute. This is a really good stretch for alleviating some tension in the lower back as well. Breathe here. Breathe into those areas that feel the tightest. And if you feel a little bit of tension in your knee, if you're feeling a bit of a tweak in your knee, I'll recommend you back off a little bit. Maybe don't force your knee down anywhere. Don't lean forwards quite as much. This pose sometimes can put a bit of torque on the knee and that's not what we're looking for. We'll take one more deep breath in. Then exhale, we'll come on up and we'll just gently switch sides. So we'll cross that left ankle across that right thigh, flexing that left foot, sit up nice and tall, maybe leaning forwards with the chest to get a little more stretch. And notice now if one side feels totally different than the other. I know right now I'm feeling this side way more. We naturally have these different imbalances in our body. We will be tighter in some places than others. So it can be worth just noticing that because often there are things that we just ignore. We're too busy, we're doing our work during the day. But wherever you are, continue to breathe. Breathe into your lower back. It sounds a little funny, but if you focus on consciously breathing and thinking about your lower back, it may actually help to relieve some of the tension that's there. I'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale. And come on up. We'll uncross our legs here. We'll gently take a little side stretch. We'll take the right hand to the seat of the chair. Reach that left arm up and arc over to the side, rooting down through the left hip so we're not rolling up and over. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we come up, we'll switch. So we'll take that left hand down, inhale, reach that right arm up and exhale to the other side. Really rooting down through that right hip, rotating that chest open so that we're not collapsing down Inhale here, exhale, we come on up. One more little stretch. We take the left hand now to the right knee, circling those right fingertips behind us. With an inhale, we sit up nice and tall and exhale, leading with the chest. So if you weren't using your hands, that wouldn't make a difference here. We're not using the hands to press us. We gently twist towards the right, taking the gaze back behind us. It doesn't matter if you, you can't turn your head all the way around. Um, actually, that would be scary. That's like the exorcist. We don't want that. 
Um, your gaze might not come quite as far towards your shoulder. And again, that's fine. This pose may look different for different people, but we're all feeling the same thing. We take one more inhale, exhale, we return to center, and then we'll move the other way. So we'll take the right hand to the left knee, bring those left fingertips behind us on our seat. We sit up nice and tall with an inhale and exhale, twist towards the left, taking the gaze back towards the left shoulder. Getting one last little ring out of the spine here. Take one more inhale. And exhale, we come back to center. Gently, you can extend your feet a little farther in front of you. We're gonna fold forwards one more time, draping the body down over the legs, consciously breathing into your back. Feel your back ribs expand as you inhale and sink down as you exhale. Really relaxing those muscles, relieving any tension that may exist there. We'll take one more deep breath in. Feel your lower back, your mid back, your upper back expand. And on your exhale, slowly roll your way up. Rolling all the way up your shoulders, roll up and back before your head lifts. We'll place the feet back underneath the knees again. And take a moment to either close your eyes or gently lower your gaze down towards the ground. Notice how your body is feeling. Notice if there are any areas of tension or tightness, if there are any new sensations, maybe some warmth, some tingling that wasn't there before. And then from your body, bring your attention to your breath. Notice how it's moving, if it's slow, if it's deep, if it's fast or shallow. And notice where you're feeling it the most, down in your belly, in your chest. Maybe now you feel it in your back body as well. And then notice where your mind is moving. Notice the quality of your thoughts, where they're running off to. And observe any differences in your body, your breath and your mind all together right now compared to how they felt at the very beginning of today's practice. We'll take a nice deep breath in. We'll bring our hands to center. And exhale, gently bow our chins forward in gratitude for this time together today. We'll slowly open our eyes. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again next time.